I remember that we used to be different. Used to live up there, on the surface. We used to be the masters of the whole world. We built gigantic cities of glass and steel. We crossed the oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air, and I remember it. The seven billion were wiped out by the last war. Only 50,000 managed to survive underground, with the surface poisoned, burned, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day, the radiation on the surface might subside, and our grandchildren, or their grandchildren, might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. We tried to make the best of what we had, banded together, and worked to make the Metro our new home. After all, it might well be the only place left on Earth for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it, but, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered. And when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it. Our numbers dwindling by the day. But I remember we were born for a better life. And I can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it. Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal.
Left across the square. Hey, Damir, do you think the colonel knows what Artyom been up to here? How am I supposed to know? Ask him yourself. <laughs> he radioed from the ring, said he'd be here tomorrow. Hey, you, leave him alone. I killed him myself with my <laughs> Let him learn to stand up for himself. How else can he hope to survive in the metro? Rise and shine, people. Hang in there, Artyom. You're gonna get a fresh dose of Spartan blood now. The doctor said you'll be fine. Are you trying to kill me with worry? What if next time you don't return from the surface? There's no one out there, Artyom. No one to find, no one to talk to. If there was, don't you think they'd be here already? We've talked about this again and again. You have to accept it. There's only us. Colonel. Hello, Alex. There you are, you stubborn fool. How many times are we going to have this conversation? I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours. But don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? Dad, please. The order is short on men after the battle for D6. But you leave. People need you. And you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop! There's only Metro, nothing else. And the Order is here to defend it. Because if not us, then who? You look fine to me. So, get ready to go. Then, we'll discuss your transfer to Polis. Come, we need to talk. I'll get the doctor. Artyom, 
Please, promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. Artyom, we managed to bring you back from the brink, but people are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't you think that is unfair? Let me put it this way. I can't promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. Still, lucky those Spartans are damn good. They brought Artyom here just in time. They sure are. I cannot remember the last time I saw a bunch of healthy and fit people down here. Yeah, me neither. It's a shame they spend so much time on the surface. Stand being cooped up down here. Huh? And why not? It's what's kept us alive up to now. <coughs> Uncle Artyom, don't worry. I believe you. <coughs> Will you take me with you when you find the green place outside? Ten years? <laughs> we'll be lucky if we make it halfway there. No antibiotics, no suture thread. Which is why we can't afford to have our best fighters taking unnecessary risks. What will we do if all the Spartans come down with radiation poisoning like Artyom and the Nazis try something? You must come back to That's exactly why they go up there. They know we can't solve anything by hiding in the forest. The storms are running out. There's fewer of us and more of the new ones. And those keep getting larger and Stronger and smarter like by the day. Sooner or later, Everybody they will crush us. Surely, we don't have to go. But maybe something up there could help you us. Oh, I can't believe my eyes. Artyom, you're all right. You gave us a scare, brother. Artyom, how are you, friend? I see you're all right. This calls for a celebration. A few more scars and you will be completely irresistible to any woman. Speaking of which, Hello, how you are you nurse in the hospital, huh? You just stop crowding him. <sighs> Brother. Welcome back, Artyom. Ah, Privyat, Artyom. All right, you're all dismissed. I give you two hours, people. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. it's official. Yeah. I knew it. You guys are like so I brought something. And here we go again. <laughs> Please, let's not repeat the last Hold time. Hold on, Artyom! And? More of nothing? Artyom! The only thing I can hear is that Geiger counter ticking. <sighs> ah, yes, and there's also those damn things. Calling all the time. Let's go home, dear, please. Don't you think I'd also love to live on an ocean beach or in a green forest? But what good are these fantasies in a silent world? Silent, Artyom? Because it's dead. We took our time. Time to replace our filters. Move it. We don't need any extra radiation, darling. Oh, Father will kill me if he finds out I went up with you. Twice, if he learns we've been to a Hansa off-limit zone. Have you been to all these ruins? See all the destruction. And Moscow had the best anti-air defenses in the country. If this is how it looks now, imagine how the rest of the world looks. There's just no way anything can live up here with monsters. 
Look, maybe you should come back to the Order. We'll move to Polis. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. Because if not us, then who? A flat with a kitchen and a shower. Let's go in turns here. It's not stable enough. Your turn now. Well, I'd say we're out of the woods. Whoa! Hear that? Turn the light off. Did you hear that? Again! Draw. We're lucky the mutants hate each other as much as they hate us. I really don't get why this zone is off limits to stalkers. The radiation and beasts are nothing special. So, the pack is here. So, do we turn this place into Thermopylae, or do we let them pass? Wait it out. Looks like that was all of them. I'm glad they didn't notice us. That was a large pack. Oh, is this why the zone is off limits? I mean, if all the packs here are like that. How about we take the bridge to cross the railroad? It would save us a detour. Damn, too high. Hey, Hatyam, help me get up there.
Now that's what I call a blizzard. Can't see a thing. Or here. Let's switch to radios. I'm not just imagining things, right? A train! A damn train on the surface! Where? Shit! What do we do, Artyom? Should we catch up with it? Look! It's our guys from the Order! It looks like they're chasing that train too! Let's join them! Come on! Get inside! How did you guys get here? Did you see that thing out there? We sure did! Come on, get in! Picked up two more individuals at the railroad bridge. One of them is the Order Commander's daughter. You should have checked first, assholes! Artyom, thank God. God. These people, the they're Hansa, not the Order. Assholes. Oh, they did a number on you. Well, Dad will rip them a new one for What's that. What's going on in this Moscow of yours, anyways? Of yours? You're putting this like you're not from here. We aren't. Our village is about 200 kilometers from here. What village? You're not from Moscow? Just a regular village. We came here to find the boy's father. Left for Moscow about a year ago and never came back. But then we got caught by this here. You mean there's life outside? Why wouldn't there be any? Sure, there are lots of bad places and lots of beasts around, but we still get by. Artyom, you were right. People really do live out there. We didn't know. We thought we were the only survivors. God, we'll tell the whole metro about this. The heck and the boy out! Hey, you people drove us halfway to nowhere. They can handle it. At least give them their masks back.
came, watchmen broke through. Uh, workers are done for. Keep your weapon trained for the opening. If anything comes through, I'll kill standing guard in a place like this. <laughs> What's that noise? Attention! The turntable is switching off. Now listen, if you come out of here, we won't accept this shit again, okay? Animals. How can they? What can I do? The mutant? The watchman! A human? How did you... Oh. oh my god. It's you she's been screaming about. Alive! You came for her. All right. I'll help. Finally. I'll be of some use. Okay. They took the girl to the base chief for interrogation. I can't take you to the main entrance. Too many guards. But we may sneak in from the back. Let's go. Don't rush, though. If they notice you, we're both done for. Wait. You'd better not walk into the light. Let's do it this way. You sneak to the lighting panel and disable it while I distract them. to that door. Try distracting him. Look, there's some garbage around. Throw some. Great. Now throw. 
destroyed. I hope the noise distracts him. Well done. supplies air for the command center. It's not that large, actually. Wait for the moment and go through. I will, of course, do it again, but uh, I, I'm not much of a fighter, as you could guess. Good luck to you. Sitting there. We must get out before they recover. Get ready, people. Guards! You have to go sneak through the courtyard. Take the door the guards are coming through. Move Here, quick! Let's go! All on Who are you? Andrei Ivanovich Yermak, the train engineer. Run now! Just get to that hangar and then, God willing, I'll get you out of here. So I get there easily. Why are you helping us, Andrei Ivanovich? I had. Uh, ah, I guess I'll tell you later. I hope. Uh, hey guys, be careful. Hey. Hey. Atun, I see the enemy. <sighs> Give me a boost. Can't really see well with the snowstorm. Don't forget your visibility gauge, Atyom. If you don't move too fast and don't come out into the light, you'll be harder for them to notice. Don't turn your flashlight on either, they could notice. Atyom, incoming two of them. I'll give you some cover from above. Shot and drop them in a 
in an exercise. What could be near that crate? You piece of shit! Someone up there.
officer of the Stratum while you rescue the old man. I'm telling you, there was a noise from behind the gate. There's nobody out there, that's for sure. It's the outside gate, so it could only be watchmen. What if it's the attackers? Well, then those watchmen just have a nice meal and we don't have to wait. Enemy cleared that crate! Tactical retreat! What? Hey, what's up here? Guards won't let us get away. We have to do something about them first. Your man, the place is crawling with guards. They must be dealt with. Do something about the guards, please. Am I glad to see you here? Are you alright? I'm fine, thank you. Alright. We don't have much time. They'll be back. I'll go to the engine. It should be ready now. You go up there Come and on, switch Jim. the turntable mechanism on. And please, be careful. We could easily have the whole base on us. No 
more guards. We need that turntable on. We don't have all day. So this is true? 
You are working for them? The bastards shot our children! Be quiet! Be How did you end up here? Ah, it doesn't matter. You have no idea what you just stuck your heads in. We've no moves left. Hans, I can't take this line. No, no shit, the watchers won't let No, them. I won't be quiet. What is this jammer for? Why are they hiding the fact that Moscow didn't survive alone? There, what is in the Anna's ravine, there are people from other cities boss. dead. All Everyone of them, women, up. children. I'll tell you all later. Everything. Grabs, what's going on out there? Down this road. The road is fine, at least until a hundred click mark. Is there a safe place to stop nearby? Of course. We have to make haste, though. They called the cruiser. All right, gentlemen. Artyom and Anna have just made a huge mess, and I can't go back to Moscow now. The wartime legislation dictates they'd be killed. In any case, I have to get them out of town until it all blows over. But you all should stay. Hear me, Major? My people are in no way related to it's not my this call and you're misunderstanding. Not. Well, Captain I'll Jam. fight for the guys no matter what. Of course, Artyom, Anna, they are the with us. The no one behind. It's it's not not a a move. Move. All right, Spartans, throw these overboard and pull him ahead. Come with me, Artyom. Let's catch them there. I'm so glad the boys supported us. It looks like my father didn't say a word to them about this either. We spent 20 years in Metro, thinking the rest of the world was burnt to a crisp in the war. But they just circled Moscow with those jammers, and we were none the wiser. How perfect of them! While you were getting irradiated on the surface, my father just kept lying! Lying to you, to me, to everyone, the whole fucking world, and not even batting an eye! My life to my people, my country. 
And I'll be damned if I give it to parasites like you!
shoot! Don't 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 We stopped a hundred clicks from Moscow to check our Geiger counters. The thing is, they are all in the green, as if they're in a conspiracy. Still, this amazing piece of news doesn't really impress anyone that much. The guys are all confused as to what to do next. And I... I'm just waiting for answers. And hoping the commander, whom until recently I trusted implicitly, is going to be extremely persuasive in his reasoning. So to speak, where everybody can help but wonder. 